Hello. Hello. Today, different video. Um, we're gonna be testing my dog's intelligence against one another. I don't know the actual validity to testing a dog's intelligence this way, um, but there are a few tests online that you can do uh, to see like their problem solving skills and reasoning skills and things like that. I, they may be total crap, but it, it, I don't know, it should be interesting. Um, so we'll see, but first I'll introduce you to my dogs. If, you, if you're new to the channel, you don't know them. Um, this is Bella. She's about nine years old. She's a Weimaraner. Bella, you have to see, you have to say hi. No, Bella, camera. She, <laughs> I've had her since I was in eighth grade. Um, I think that she'll, even though she looks kind of dumb right now, I think she'll probably do better than he will. Um, this is Maverick. He's a little more like, you know, um, he's only three years old. He's a pit bull uh, chihuahua mix, believe it or not. Um, don't ask me how that happened, I wasn't there. But this is Maverick. These are my two dogs. So let's see how it goes, I don't know. Okay, so first test, according to this article about how to test your dog's intelligence, is to place a large towel or blanket over your dog's head to provide insight on your dog's ability to solve problems. And there's a scoring system. So it'll be three points if they figure out how to get out in under 15 seconds, two if it takes 15 to 30, and one point if it takes more than 30 seconds. So stopwatch, here we go. Who's first? Bella, you're first. Okay, no, I only need one dog for this. Are you ready? Set. Matter the audio. Ready. Set. Go. What a <laughs> She's run. insane! Okay, no, I'm gonna do it again. I didn't throw it over her whole head. Hold on. Ready. Go sit. Set. Go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. you, yeah, good job. <laughs> that was 22 seconds. That's two points for Bella. Good job, okay. Next, Maverick's turn. Okay, Mavi, Maverick, you sit. Okay, ready, set, go. Maverick with three points, Bella with two. Surprising lead from the little one. <laughs> okay, this one is to test learning and memory retention. So I have coffee filters back there and I'm gonna put this under one of them and then I'm gonna distract her for a few seconds and see if she can remember which one it's under. I don't have plastic cups, so this is what I'm using. This is a coffee filter, this is a coffee filter, and this is a coffee filter. That's all jacked up. I'm gonna put it under this one. Bella, focus. Bella, look. This is going under here. No, don't take it yet, don't take it yet. Okay, come here, I need to distract you. Come on, come here. Come over here, come here. Come on, let's go. Okay, well, you know what? I think that counts. <laughs> I think I'll give her three points for that. Bella, you did it. Congratulations. High five. No, high five. She liked, she liked it. Come here. That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right, Maverick next. Okay, his turn now. Are you ready? Okay, here's the deal. Hi, okay, no, okay. Here's the deal, there are three coffee filters. Yes, you understand. I'm gonna put this under this one. But now you have to distract yourself. Okay, you're already doing it. Can you sit? Can you sit? 
Thank you. High five. This is just the boy. Okay. Come here. Come over here. No. Come here. The boy. Okay, now go find it. You'll get to treat. I think you already forgot. Matt, Matt, go get the treat. You can go get it now. Wow. Okay. I think that they use cups for a reason because I'm pretty certain they can just smell it very easily underneath the coffee filter. So I don't know that that's representing memory at all, but they both have three points. So that's okay. That's okay. Another problem solving one. Put a treat under the couch where he has to use problem solving skills, AKA sticking a paw down there and pulling it out to get it. How fast? Will he do it? Okay, here we go. Ready. I'm putting it under here. <laughs> Get it. Get it. It's under there. You can see the treat. Try again. Mavi, it's on you here. Come on, you're still under a minute. Get it. Get it. Look, treat. Here. Get it. 115, buddy. Not doing so hot. Get the treat. He's not gonna get it anyway, he gets no points. <laughs> Different dog, same test. I'm sorry I'm not doing it in consistent order. That's probably really annoying and weird for the video. I apologize, okay. Stop watch. Bella, this is a treat. Okay. It's under there. How will you get it? Neither of my dogs were able to retrieve the treat. Zero points. The final test, whether or not they can retain and create associations between objects. 
and actions. Example, a leash and going for a walk, their favorite thing. I already know my dogs get excited by the leash, so they're probably both gonna get full points for this, but we'll see. They've been proving me wrong today. Uh, so let's find out with her. What is this? A leash. I think... He's seen the leash yet, but I'm holding it. Maverick. What is this? Okay, I saw virtually no change in expression. Oh, there you go. What do you mean? Oh, Bella knows how to open the door. So, uh, that's pretty big. I'm sorry if there was an echo. My ceiling is really high. I'm sorry this video is kind of scuffed. Um, I don't know, hopefully Danny made it okay because after filming, I don't have a ton of hope for it. <laughs> but uh, we'll see, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. And if it won't, then I'll figure something else out. Thank you for watching. Um, come check out the podcast on my Twitch channel on Fridays and then I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Um, my Instagram is my underscore Higa. My Twitter is my Higa6. Like and subscribe uh, for YouTube and leave a comment, say yo, I don't know. Um, thanks for watching. Bella, Maddie, come here. Bella, say goodbye say to the people. Bella, yes, very nice. Bye. Being a YouTuber is hard work. Hard work. They're wiped out. Too much thinking.